Hi, so today I'm going to be working on an air skirt and I'm going to be showing you how to do the hem down here. And Eris' skirt is special because her hem is not even and it's actually scalloped and scallops are a little round or triangular protruding things, shapes on the hem. And yeah, um, yeah so as her skirt is in two layers, I already finished the first layer and in the end it should look something like this. Well, right now it's folded up in half so it's not quite as clean. But it's pretty. Okay, so to start, what I did on this uh, white layer was I finished the edges. I sewn the front and the back together. And then I folded up the part that I want to ham up. And it's about 5 inches wide right now. And uh, what you want to do first is take your tape measure and measure how long your piece ended up being. Then once you have that measure, mine is about 40 inches, you'll want to uh, decide how many scallops you want and divide that measurement by the number of scallops. After you've done that, the easiest thing to do is to draw it on a piece of paper with your measurements. So the part that you got after dividing will be the width of the scallop and then for height you can use whatever you want. So I think for one I used six centimeters and for that one I used four. Now because that, fab that paper was really flimsy, what I did was I transferred it onto this cardboard of this really happy lady. So now I take this uh, erasable fabric marker and it's important not to use an actual marker because it will stay on the fabric forever and you'll probably see it, especially through the white. However, with this erasable marker, once I draw it, if I leave it on for a while, it'll go away. If I want it to go away faster, I can use the back of it and erase it. I don't know how it works, but it's amazing. So what you want to do now is put the paper cutout thing you made of the scallops onto the fabric. and. An important thing to do is to uh, put the middle of the big piece, or the small piece, whatever you end up doing, you put that on the seam on the side because it'll be a lot easier to make the seam on the round part than on the pointy parts. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how it works. So then, what you do is you just trace the shape at whatever distance you want from the edge. I usually take about a centimeter. And then you just trace it. Making sure to always have it at the same distance from the edge. Okay, so once you got it all traced all around the skirt, what you'll want to do is pin the fabric so it's easier to sew. So what I like to do is I like to just pin it vertically like that. That way when the sewing machine goes on there you won't clip any of the uh, pins. So do that all the way around the skirt. Okay, so what you'll want to do now is uh, set your sewing machine to a short stitch length. I'm using one and a half on the scale from zero to four. And uh, I'll, sh I'll tell you why after uh, we finish stitching it. Now, to start stitching, just lower the foot and slowly start stitching, making sure the line you drew 
is right under the needle. So sew slowly so you can turn the fabric. Whoops, lost the pin. Turn the fabric. You can stop in the middle if you need to turn it more. Screw the pins. And so right until the points. When you get to the points, you might want to uh, do the last couple stitches by hand by turning the wheel. And then make sure the needle is in the down position. I don't know if you can see very well. Make sure it's down there. Then you want to lift the foot and just pivot your fabric until the line, you can see the line going right straight to your needle again. And then just make sure everything is neatly flat there. And keep going. And do that until your skirt is completely sewn. So now that you're all done sewing, you can take all the pins out and now the important part is to trim the fabric you have at the edge to about one eighth of an inch away from the line. Uh, you can't see there. Yeah, you can. Okay. And this is why we made the stitch length so small because now when we cut it we don't have to finish the seam or anything and it won't come apart. Now, trim that all around. And then in the corner, you just want to carefully clip it as close as you can to the seam. So when you turn it out, there won't be any puckering. And just keep going. So now that you trimmed all the fabric, what you can do is you can take your uh, pattern here and you can stick it in there in the scallops. It doesn't work very well with this fabric, but with other fabrics like cotton, it will work very well. And you stick it in there, you put it in, and you iron it, and then you have pretty little scallops just like the pink one I showed you.